to understand that Peter Bea may have lost a tooth during the game. I don't know if you were aware of that. Or I don't. No, I don't care. You, know, you got 30 other ones. <clears throat> you still play. It looks like you can't go play without a tooth. I mean, that, that ain't nothing. <laughs> Easy for you to say, Coach, you have all or most of your teeth. And here's what happened to Vita Vea. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often in football. It's it's definitely a hockey thing. I remember the first time I saw pictures of hockey players, I was mortified. But up goes the his own helmet, and he took a helmet right into the chopper, and uh, there went the tooth. And, yes, there are 30 others or 31 others or however many others, but... Uh, Hey, you go to the dentist, you get it fixed. Nobody knows the difference. No big deal, but uh, painful and dangerous. And uh, got to keep that helmet in place at all times, Mike. There's 32 teeth. I mean, how do we not know this? I mean, he has 31 others. Now, unless he lost a tooth, there's 32 teeth. I mean, up, don't up, we all, up, isn't this something up, we all up, know? Up, Obviously, up. Wait, to know wait. Mike, I take it. You Wait, I... I only ever had 31. For some reason, one of my teeth was never there. One of my wisdom teeth was never there. It's just not there. So I only ever had 31. So maybe well, he's, maybe maybe Vita Vey has I, had a dental X-ray that we don't know about, and Bruce Arians has looked at it. You get into all the time where it got knocked out, and you just don't remember <laughs> uh, with a fall or slamming something on your head or something like that. And, and as far as you. As you're saying, you're surprised it doesn't happen more. I, I didn't wear a mouthpiece, which is pretty dumb, because really the mouthpiece, quite honestly, is supposed to help against concussion, not so much protect your teeth. But rarely do you see, I mean, the timing of that, where his face mask got jacked up, so now his jaw was exposed, and immediately a helmet hit said jaw. So, and you see the tooth come flying out. So, that's a bad timing award for that one, because rarely does that happen. If you see a helmet get jacked up like that, Normally, or a lot of times, it doesn't get hit immediately. Uh, it's usually a hand away, uh, and you have a little bit of distance between the linemen. This time, the lineman was right up on him with us, with, and it wasn't done intentionally. It's a bang, bang play. And next thing you know, you're spitting chiclets and, and kind of laughing about it. It's what happens. Um, you know, but uh, uh, like I said, I, I don't know. I see a lot more guys wearing mouthpieces. When I played, not a lot of guys did wear mouthpieces. I was like, it was like a mental thing. I felt I could breathe better if I didn't have a mouthpiece because I was forced to wear one in college. But uh, I never lost a tooth like that. Only got punched in the jaw one time. Never hit in the jaw, but the punch uh, hurt hurt a lot. Not gonna lie, it kind of exploded my lip and I bled everywhere. But uh, that that he had to feel that one, no doubt about it. Who punched you? Uh, Kevin Gogan. Uh, and listen, I, I get it. You know, he was with Dallas. I was with Philly. We were kind of fighting on the field. We had each other's face masks trying to jack each other up, and he's a taller guy, and he jacked mine up, and, and it was like a nice little listen. The rest didn't even see it. It was like a good six-inch punch like in Mike Tyson, and he caught me right in, the, right in the jaw, right? And I didn't realize what happened, and it was like on a third down play. We were all messing around before they had to punt. So I'm running. I took my helmet off because it got jacked up, and I'm running off the field, and I see the trainer running on the field, and I'm like, oh, I'm looking back that someone get hurt. And he's running right at me. And he stops in front of me. I'm like, what the hell? Well, nothing wrong with me. And he goes, do you see your face? I'm like, no. And I guess when he punched me, I bit my lip. And there was a chunk out of my lip and blood kind of sprayed up into my face. And was all on my face mask. And, and I didn't even know it. I had no idea I had blood on my face. And I go over there and, you know, I had that really bad lip. It was one of those where you try and eat salad with that salad dressing and it burns. Luckily, I never ate salad. Um, but it was, a, I give it to him. I give it to him. Listen, we were going at it and he got me with a good six inch punch. So kudos to him for it. Uh, we're going to have to try to find video of the Mike Golick with blood all over his face, like Carrie or something like that. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.